A friendship breakup is one of the most hardest thing that you will probably go through if you're unfortunate enough to experience it in your adult life. It is your support system that you never thought you'd lose and it's even more heartbreaking than a breakup of a relationship because it's that friend that's there to pick up the pieces when your heart's broken but what happens when they're the ones who have broken your heart and the friendship has come to an end? What now? All the plans that you guys have made, all the things that you've been doing, um, all the things that only you two know and your private jokes and songs and things are now have gone. Where do you pick up the pieces? Where do you fill the gaps? What do you do to deal with such pain of losing your best friend? If you haven't been to my page before, welcome. I'm Hamasa. I look at emotional and mental well-being personal development as well as day-to-day -day issues, please do join me and subscribe to my page for my weekly content. So I personally have had a few friendship breakups growing up and in my adult life. So I know how that feels. But I've developed this mindset a few years ago that I apply it to everything and everyone. And I'm a huge believer in that because I've kind of in my own weird way have tested it out is that every person that comes into your life is for a reason and they have a purpose to serve. If they've served that purpose, no matter how much you try and how hard you try to hold on to them, something somewhere goes wrong and things just do not work out. And if they haven't served that purpose and they should still be in your life, regardless of how much you try and fight it and push them away, they end up being in your life. So when things truly do come to an end and I feel like I've done my part, I've given my effort and I've done what it takes for this friendship to flourish and it's not, then I know and I can very easily accept that this person's purpose in my life has been served or that I have served my purpose in their lives. And no matter what, it's just not happening and it's time to accept and let go and go with the motions. Outgrowing people, moving on from people, growing up, going into different directions is very, very normal and very, very human of us. So if we've tried to fight it and keep this friendship in our lives and it's not working out, it's for a reason. We need to let this person go because they've served what they were supposed to do in our lives. And we need to let this go to make room for the new things and amazing things that are supposed to come into our lives. And as much as this sounds cheesy, it is true that you haven't met everyone in your life that will love you. You haven't because you're still living and you'll come across other people who will love you in ways that you didn't even know possible. So what do you do when a friendship comes to an end? Because it does and there's a number of reasons for that. First thing to do, I'd say, is to try, like a relationship, completely create distance and really just cut them off. Now that you've guys had this fight or made this decision that you no longer be friends or it's just not working out, then, and it's kind of bitter and it's hurtful, then completely cut contact. You don't need to see what they're doing. You don't need to see where they're hanging out. Try and avoid to the places they go. Try and avoid the people that they see. Even if you guys have mutual friends, try and speak to them and make them understand that maybe for the next couple of months, please don't invite me to the places that you're inviting X, Y, and Z because we're going through something and I need some time to deal with it and digest what's going on and I don't want to make it awkward for anyone else or create animosity. And I hope as my friends, you guys understand that. Most times they should respect your wishes. Create distance and keep that distance because having them around or in your life, the same theory as a relationship, you're just holding yourself back and you're hurting yourself more. The second thing would be is to understand that it is very heartbreaking. It is parts of yourself that you're killing. So you need to give yourself time and space to grieve. And you need that because this is someone who was very important to you and they're suddenly gone. So you, it's okay to grieve and be sad if your friendship hasn't worked out or you guys didn't communicate properly in whatever issues there are. You're allowed to feel sad over that and you need that space. But at the same time, 
it's very important for us to not ruminate and overthink and rethink scenarios and start taking blame and taking things personally. Because it takes two people in a friendship and sometimes it's not just you and sometimes it may be you, but there's other person's emotions and feelings and people don't necessarily owe you things and they don't necessarily have to live up to your expectations. And as an adult, you need to kind of wrap your head around that and adjust your expectations and understand. And so if they don't want to be your friend, you don't really fit into their lives, you have to respect that. So it's not always you. It's not always in your hands. And so ruminating over it, overthinking it and staying in your sadness isn't going to help. So it's okay to grieve and be sad, but give yourself a deadline and a limit. Like after this point, I cannot dwell on this anymore because it's not serving anyone anything. It's not no, doing me no good. Like I said in my previous video, there are different friends and friendship groups for different reasons and purposes. So if it's someone who's in your outer circle or not that important, I'm sure you wouldn't be dwelling on it or you don't even need to waste your time and energy on it because he was never that deep. But if it's a best friend and someone who's very close to you and this has happened and you guys are dealing with like a friendship breakup, then it just means that a lot of the things that you guys did together, that you have planned to do, that you're comfortable doing with each other and it's parts of you are no longer around and you kind of you two became one person, you like the same things, you adapted their hobbies and pastimes and they probably adapted yours and you kind of lost yourself in the mix. So this is why it's very important, depending on the type of friendship and the type of friendship breakup, that you realize how much of yourself you actually based on them or relied on them on to do things with you and kind of you limited it, limited yourself from meeting other people and forming new friendships. So now is the time for you to revisit that, do the inner work, re-establish yourself, find your things that you like and things that you don't like. You can look back, look at your friendship and see things that bothered you and the kind of people that you want to attract in your life moving forward and make room for those new people because it's very easy, like when I was younger, I always used to think I know what I want, but actually you don't know half the time what you want. What you do know is what you don't want because you can base it on your experiences. You've experienced something, you didn't like it, and you know it's not for you, but you haven't experienced all the things and possibilities that are out there. So you don't necessarily know what you actually want or like because you don't know all the things that are out there that's available to you, all the friendships, all the types of people. So keep an open mind, make room for new people to come into your life. And it probably won't be the same at first because friendships need to get built on trust, built on respect, and it, that comes over time of getting to know each other. But at least be open because when one door closes, another one opens. And so find the things you like, learn from the friendship and the things that went wrong, reflect back at it. So when things come to an end, give yourself time to grieve. Understand that your grieving period's over and you need to do some inner work and heal yourself. Once you've felt it and healed it, you can then establish your likes and things you want to do and attract people and places and experiences that are more on par with who you are now. Because people do grow and your habits and things do change, but because you're in this comfortable environment with this best friend, you kind of just go with it. But when that breaks up, have an opportunity of a clean slate, you should use it to your advantage, to learn some lessons, improve on the things you'd like to, get rid of the things that no longer serve you, and be open to new experiences. I hope that this has been helpful. It is very heartbreaking to experience a friendship breakup but like I said before, every person comes into your life for a reason and once they've served their purpose, you've got to let it go and let it grow. We are forever evolving, forever growing. Some people grow with us. I have friends that have been in my life for 20 plus years, 15 plus years and they're like family. And some people grow apart and grow in different directions. It doesn't mean that you're at war with them. It doesn't mean that it needs to be bitter and negative. It just means that the love is all there, but you guys don't have that much in common anymore. 
and some people just outright break your heart and let you down and betray you and so they don't deserve to be in your life anymore and when that happens understand that you will be okay without them you will be okay past them you were okay before them and you just need to find that back if you've liked this please do subscribe to my page like and comment on this video and do share it with someone who may need it and i will see you guys here again next week thank you for watching Mwah.